You paying the tithes? This is your seat. God said this is going to be a year where you're going to be able to celebrate what you haven't celebrated in over five years. God said that the hard times, the difficult times, the pressures that you've seen, God said they're about to disappear. God said that you have you have struggled and you've been, I see you walking through like a tunnel. And that tunnel has been so dark that you had to, there's been times that you walked through it and you wanted to come out. But when you turned, went this way, it was dark. And when you went that way, it was dark. But God said, I'm going to turn things around for you. God said, just, just stick with me. Just work with me and watch. I'm going to do things for you where you're going to literally see the change. I want you to drink this. I want you to go back to your seat. Go get you some food. And celebrate what God is going to do. Come on, prophet. Everybody get the food and say, I also hear God saying that this is the season also when he's getting ready to bring promotion. God says this is the season of promotion, but also God is saying that this is the season where he's going to make you an example to your family. God says there's members in your family that you've literally been laying on your face for it, interceding and praying for it. God says I'm getting ready to turn some situations to some hard places for some individuals that have seen some hard times. And God says it's going to be a turnaround in your family. It's going to be restoration in your family. It's going to be an uplifting. God says I'm going to bring the family closer together than ever before. There's going to be more communication and more um, uh, networking between the family. God says, I'm going to bless the family in the latter end of this season where you're going to see where there's going to be a business that's going to be able to take forth where the whole family will be able to benefit from it. God says, this is a season where I'm renewing some mind and I'm also healing some healing from hurt. There's some hurt that has gone forth. There's some words that have been spoken, but God says to release it, let it go, and just begin to love. He says the love is what's going to destroy the yoke of individual's life. And God says I'm going to use you as the pillar that you are in this season in your household. And that's the word. And I also hear God say that you're going to set structure that you want to be more orderly in what you're doing, and there's going to be more structure around you. You're not going to let just things fall by the wayside. Structure, said the Lord. Structure, structure, structure. If you've got to study the Word, then you can study the Word to find out what structure is. And that's the way of the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on. this. God said there's been tremendous difficulty on you. God said there's been, um, I see a rope, and I see where this rope has been stretched to the place of almost breaking. It's, it's, you know, it's like a rubber band when you pull it. And for some reason, the more it's pulled on, the, the strength of that thing brings it back together. You, you understand what I'm saying? And there are some rubber bands that you stretch them and pull them and they break. But God said, I put something in you that will allow that that, that allows you to to to, to, to stand and, and to stay together, even when there's been a pull in one in one direction and one in another direction. God said in this season I'm going to begin to work in your marriage this year. This is going to be a year where the development, the attitude, there's going to be a restructuring, there's going to be a reconnecting of minds, a reconnecting of agreement. God said, um, I'm going to begin to um, deal with both of your hearts concerning your marriage and, and, and where it's been difficult, where it's been rough. You know, it, it, it's been a point with you where literally I see where you, you, you wanted to vomit. You, you wanted to just throw up because the pressures of life has been so bad for you. And God said that I'm going to bring healing to that and, and not to give up and not to quit because you're stronger 
and you're getting stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger as you go. And you realize who you are and what you are and what you're about. And God said, even this new vision that you have of the things that you want to do, God said, don't let no, no one rob you of your vision in this season. And, and man of God, it's like, you know, you know, there's been a real, like, like a bitterness in your mouth, like a, like a bitter taste. It's like your words have been bitter. You've been, even yourself, God said, you're going to have to build the confidence in you. You can't look at you and think that's you. Because you're not what you see in the mirror. You're greater than what you see. But God said you've been stuck on the outside. And God said you need to stop looking at the outside of you and look at the wonderful man that you are, the, 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 the father that you are, and look at the greatness in you. And God said as you begin to do this, I'm going to begin to change your life. And that's the word of God. I also hear the word of the Lord saying, God says that this also, here I'm looking at August and September. God says I'm going to promote you as far as your home. God says he's going to elevate you. You know, I see you uh, literally relocating as far as um, your residence. God is going to open the door and it's going to be a better of That's my mind. Okay. Um, he's going to open it's going to be a, a greater door. For you, it's going to be a, a season of expansion. God says also in this season that you two need to um, band together. God says I'm going to have to bring, I'm going to bring a rekindling in your marriage. He said in your love life, it's going to be a rekindling. It's going to be a new fire. God says the same joy that you have in the excitement that you have in the direction that you're going as far as career is going to be the same type of excitement that I'm going to bring as far as your relationship. God says I'm going to bring a, a fire and I'm going to bring a strong bond. There's a strong that's there. God says, I'm getting ready to strip it. God says, I'm even getting ready to block your ears to the outside voices. Because even the challenges that you have within your mind, your biggest battle is in your mind. And God says, I'm going to bring you to a total place of surrender. He says, I'm going to allow you to know me like never before. And there's going to be an understanding in a relationship between you and I. God says, he says, I'm going to start speaking to you in a way where you're going to know that I am God. God says, in this season, within the next few months, you're going to see your relationship change drastically. God says, there's been areas in your life where you started and stopped and started and stopped. He says, I'm getting ready to put you on a straight path, and it's going to be a path that's literally going to ch challenge you and it's going to stress you. But God says, this is the season where literally you're going to see the hard things that you've been facing and the fears that you have allowed to come up even in your mind, even the dreams that you dream that you don't understand the direction in which they're going and what they're saying. They're trying to bring fear on you, but God says, I'm not into fear, but I'm in the strength that I'm trying to bring you. God says, I'm getting ready to open up your eyes in the season where you're going to see like never before. There's going to be a new anointing that's going to rest on you, and there's going to be a new mantle that's going to fall on you. And you're going to know God. God says, I'm going to allow you to be a witness to your brothers. He says, I'm going to use you to minister to them when they think they're ministering to you. But you will be an example to them in this season. This is a season of turnaround transformation totally for you. I really see the battles that you have in your mind. And God says he's going to bring you to a place of prayer. Your life is going to be nothing but prayer. You're